For the next seven days, I'm gonna be doing ice baths. Ice baths are one of those things that are good for your health, but also extremely miserable. So let's look at the literature and see if they're really good for your health and worth the pain. And I'll give you my take on them after doing them for seven days. Let's get into it. So what does science say about ice baths? A study by Trevor Higgins and colleagues in 2011 looked at the difference between ice baths, contrast baths, and nothing in the muscle recovery of 26 rugby players during competition and found that contrast baths, which is going back and forth between hot and cold baths, show a trend toward benefiting recovery, while five-minute ice baths may have a detrimental effect, suggesting their continued use should be reconsidered. However, a similar study published in 2012 by Trevor Higgins and colleagues found that both contrast baths and ice baths had beneficial effects on muscle recovery over passive rest. So these two conclusions kind of go against each other. Let's dig a little deeper. A meta-analysis of 52 studies by Emma Moore and colleagues in 2022 found that cold water immersion was an effective recovery tool after high intensity exercise, quote, with positive outcomes occurring for muscular power, muscle soreness, and perceived recovery 24 hours after exercise. They found that lower temperatures and shorter durations were most effective. Another study by Jonathan Peake and colleagues in 2019 found that regular cold water immersion after strength or resistance training actually reduces muscle hypertrophy, suggesting that cold water exposure could stunt strength or muscle gains if done too soon after strength training. So for optimal physical performance gains, it is recommended to avoid cold water immersion in the four hours immediately following strength or hypertrophy training. Finally, there are a couple of studies that talk about the impacts of ice baths on the immune system. The first one by Powell Sutkowi and colleagues in 2015, and they found that a short-term ice bath decreases post-exercise lipid peroxidation in healthy men compared to recovery at room temperature. Lipid peroxidation is essentially free radicals attacking our lipid molecules, which can cause damage on our bodies and lead to many diseases and cancers. So it's good to avoid. A second study by Nikolai Shevchuk and colleagues in 2007 found that brief cold water immersion repeated daily over several months could, quote, enhance anti-tumor immunity and improve survival rate for non-lymphoid cancers. So pretty good findings overall for immune system benefits. All the studies I mentioned will be linked in the description. And I also wanna take a moment to talk about a warning in the literature and found everywhere, wherever you look. Don't ever go straight from very hot to very cold or vice versa. Always allow time for your body to return to baseline temperatures before going from one extreme to the other. Otherwise, you could cause your body to go into cardiac arrest or have a heart attack. So that's what the literature says. This is what my seven days look like. And here are my thoughts. They suck. But you feel pretty fantastic afterwards. And they have too many science-backed benefits to ignore. I found that for the past seven days when I did the ice bath, I had higher energy levels, less congestion, less soreness, higher cold tolerance, and less mental fatigue. The mental benefits themselves are something that is also underrated. Being able to put yourself in stressful, painful situations and stay calm, focus on your breath and thoughts, and maintain composure is something that can't be ignored. So, it's a pretty miserable seven days, but I feel pretty great. So I think I'm gonna continue these for maybe a month or so, see what happens, and then decide from there. And I think you should absolutely give them a shot. There's too many benefits for you to ignore them, and you might like them. So who knows? But like I said, don't go from hot to cold immediately. Leave time in between, and uh, yeah, see how you like them. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you wanna watch a video slimmer to this one, you can watch one here. And don't forget to subscribe, press the bell notification thing, icon, do all that stuff. Check out my other socials in the description and my other Carolyn. All right, that's it.